Welcome back everyone to DK World Travel. Thanks for tuning in. It's your boy D. And on today's segment of tips on relationships, I'm going to be talking about a very touchy subject to all mankind. And hopefully we all can agree on that, which is should I get married, right? Sure, it ran across your mind at least one time. Even if you oppose it, it's okay. That's your preference on how to live your life. I cannot take that away from you, okay? Everybody has their right to be who they want to be and the freedom to be who they want to be. So, but this is for the people that are married or thinking of getting married. And if you're, you know, if you just want to enjoy the video, thanks for tuning in. Now let's get straight into it. <laughs> you better break these people glass. You guys, so we're gonna begin with the no, and the reason I want to begin with the no is because I don't want us to have to anticipate after I say yes, of course, the no. So I'm gonna start off with the con and then go in with the pro, just so that we can make this whole thing green, right? So, why shouldn't you get married? Reason number one. So my first reason, I'm gonna do two reasons, on two reasons only. The first reason is because you're not ready, straight up. You're just not ready. Um, you still want to play the field a little bit more. It's okay. Please, that's the most mature thing you can do. Do not, I repeat, do not tie the knot or do not get in a serious relationship with someone, males especially, right? Don't do it because the woman, she looks good or you believe she um, has a, she can provide a fat check in your pocket or, pocket or somewhere you to, you know, lay your head comfortably. Don't just be in it for the ride, guys, okay? Actually fall in love with this person. And the only way you can do that, gentlemen, is by sitting down with this woman Figuring out what she wants for her the rest of her life. Not just her babies, her dreams, her aspirations, her goals. See if they match with yours. If they do not match with what you want to be. and who, If you want to be a gamer for the rest of your life on a couch potato, make sure the person that you're going to be with is someone that wants the same thing. Okay? And wants a person in their life that wants to be like that. All right? I hear all the time this opposites attract theory and I don't like that. Okay? I feel as if similarities are key, okay? My wife and I, we're from the same country, similar. We like the same foods, similar. Um, you know, she's not a vegan and, you know, I, I eat meat or something like that. We're similar. We, we like the same things. We can relate to one another. So that's my number one, that's my number one reason as to um, why you shouldn't get married is if you want to play the field more, please do so. Have fun, have a ball, go to parties, concerts, go crazy, play the field, play hard, guys. And, and then take it on. All right, you guys. So my number two reason for not getting married is because you haven't lived with the person long enough, okay? For me, the minimum you should live with the person before you get married is six months, okay? Some people need a year. Some people need two. Some people need five. I've seen people need 10. Both people, both parties, the male and the female. Maybe the one of the spouses or one of the people or genders in the relationship. Maybe they want to tie the knot earlier than the next person, but... It still takes time to develop a true love relationship with a person, okay? Not just a friendship, not just something or someone you believe looks good with you. It's way deeper than that, okay? Sometimes you may overlook this step in haste to just get married. I know people that have lived with a person with their family members for about a year or two, but they haven't, and then want to get married, but they haven't lived with that person-to-person -person contact or person-to-person -person relationship alone. They, they, they don't know what that's like. They've been living with some other people and other people have been in their relationship for the, that two years that I was talking about or one year, whatever amount of time that person has lived with the, maybe a relative or roommates with their spouse and they believe they can take that next step. But no, I believe anyone should live with the potential person that's going to be your husband or wife for at least six months to a year a year would be perfect you guys would be diamond okay the pressure would already hit you you know you living on your own and then at least you get to know if this person is gonna be someone that you want to spend the rest of your human existence on this planet earth with it's not something you should take lightly my wife and i we didn't take that lightly before we got married, we lived with one another at least for a year and a half, maybe two or more. Can't remember the exact timing, but I know it was more than six months. So sure. do not get married with the person if you have not lived with them for at least six months to a year. 
Woo! All right, we got that out of the way. So now we can do the yes. Why should you get married? I'm a person, I'm all for marriage. I love it. I love the people that get married. They're like young couples, old couples, any couple that get married. Um, the reason why I like marriage is because it's it's a beautiful bond between two people. And when you make this work, um, it gives you a sense of duty. Not on, not to say like, you know, to make it seem as if we're in operation somehow. But it gives you a sense of maturity and responsibility to not only have to take care of yourself, but now you have someone else you have to look after as well as vice versa. They have to look after you and both people can help one another conquer goals, um, you know, take down milestones, catch those dreams that we've been chasing. It's just a beautiful thing. And once you can make it work, though, once you make it work, um, there's really no one or anything that can stop you and your accomplishments are, you know, can be sky high and go through the roof. So here's my yes. Number one reason why you should get married so my number one reason is going to be very simple love that's it just love just love nothing else and everybody wants that everybody wants to be loved no matter how tough you think you are whatever the case may be you may not you may be opposed to love but i'm telling you you're looking for it everybody is everybody wants to be loved everybody wants to be taken care of everybody wants to be somewhere in their life where you know, it's not lonely where it doesn't feel as if you're shut off from the world because you're so sheltered in yourself and in your needs. You want to be able to give that as well as in response to gaining that. Love is a beautiful thing, something that you really can't touch it, but you can sense it, you can feel it, and we've all been there. Butterfly bellies, headaches, can't sleep, can't eat. These things are an exact result of, I guess, the human anatomy. There's somewhere in us that desire and yearn for love we want to be loved in the morning we want to be loved in the evening we want to be loved in the night we want to be understood and understanding is love i want my wife to understand me when i tell her something i and i am going to understand her as well when she speaks to me because that's love you give you get it and keep passing it around love is a beautiful thing guys don't sleep on it learn about it i'm gonna put up a great book about love for you guys Somewhere right here. It's there. It should be there. You should check out. Very good book. Um, but check it out. But not only that, make sure that you are responsive to the next person's feeling at all times, you guys. All right, you guys. And my final and last reason for getting married, number two, is going to be family. Yes, family. We all love family, right? Hopefully. Hopefully you love yours. Maybe you don't. But the structure of family is kind of run a little bit smoother when you have both spouse on the same page, okay? And marriage kind of locks that in for a family. So it's normally the male, the female, and then the kids underneath, right? And it's kind of proven that families that have good marriage in the household is run a little bit better. Um, you don't want to raise your kids in chaos. Um, and this is very touchy. I know a lot of you guys may oppose this part, but I think that a family can be run better when both people and both parties in a marriage agree to how they want to raise their kids with schools, you know, college maybe they want to send their kids to. And then the kids kind of have some reputable people to look up to because they're sticking together through the thick and the thin and it gives them some sort of guideline growing up as to maybe how they want to be or at least less chaos for them in their you know growing up or brought up scene so that you know and this is very touchy because i know people that are gonna oppose this because I have friends that are opposed to marriage and they have kids. I'm not going to say that their kids are growing up in chaos, but, you know, having a sound place to grow up in, it makes the difference. You know, if I had to compare, you know, my childhood friends to those that had good marriage households, you know, the kids that had good marriage households are doing a little bit better 
in their, you know, I like to say life as they turn adults. Because they have a representation in front of them as to what a good life should look like or what togetherness should look like. Um, some major commonalities that, you know, the male and the female head of the house are agreeing on and disagreeing on so that when they get older, they don't feel abandoned if my father's not around because my mother and my father aren't married. And then you have the questions that you, as an adult, such as why didn't my father marry my mother? Or why didn't my mother marry my father? Now, divorce can be hard. And we're not talking about divorce today. I know getting married, you leave or give that leeway for divorce and you don't want to put kids through that. But hey, you know, hopefully that marriage can stay on um, a great path to success for their kids. So that would be my number two reason, final reason as to why you should get married, you guys. Um, I hope this helps you guys out a lot. Those that want to be married in the future or maybe those that are currently married right now. Hopefully, you guys, this these tips and advice that I gave you today can be used and utilized in your um, everyday decision making when it comes down to you wanting to get married or if you're married right now. So thank you guys for tuning in once again. It's your boy D and... You're here with DK World Travel.